Hey, what's going on, guys? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. You're beautiful. I love you. I appreciate the support. Subscribe there. Uh, it's been a good Heat West Coast trip so far. I have recapped two of the wins, the uh, the win against the Jazz, the Tyler Buzzer beater, and uh, the win against the Clippers, Bam and Depot going off. You guys can check out those videos. Subscribe to the page. You get a notification every time we go uh, with a new video. And if you guys are fans of the radio show that I do with Leroy Horde, with uh, Jay Fig, Marcos, the whole crew there on WQAM, the Heat's flagship weekdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We are not streaming live on YouTube. We have been doing it exclusively on Twitch, but finally uh, the powers that be have gotten us on YouTube. So now streaming live every single day from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. every weekday. And you guys can check us on out. You guys can go back, watch the whole show if you want to. And you guys can still get the clips if you like the clips there as well. Check that out. Subscri uh, subscribe there. And uh, a little incentive, I'll bribe you. We are giving away Heat Nets tickets to Sunday's game. So if you guys want to, I would suggest listening live because it's not an on-demand uh, type of uh, type of contest. But, you know, check us on out. Maybe you guys like it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But uh, check it on out there. We're giving away Heat Nets tickets on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, between uh, some of the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Anyway, let's dive into this video. So a couple of health things that I want to dive into here with the uh, the Miami Heat. First off, I've got some news, and that was Nikola Jovic. He is going to be out for a month. It has been uh, He's been diagnosed with a lower back stress reaction, and he's going to be reevaluated after four weeks. Uh, Jovic, he's been having some back spasms. He, uh, he has been, you know, dealing with a thing. It's, it's kind of been messing with him, and... So that's going to keep him out, you know, for the for the foreseeable future right now. While he hasn't, you know, it's been up and down with the uh, with the with the work for him. The the playing time has not been consistent. Sometimes he's been in the G League, all that type of stuff. I think everybody really does like what what uh, Nikola's skill set is and and what the guy could really turn into. Super young, nineteen years old. Um, you know that the Heat with their bigs, it always feels like they got a little bit more polishing and fine-tuning they want to do with them. So this is unfortunate that he's going to miss some time and he's going to be out for a little bit. But I do think that, uh, you know, should his future be with the Miami Heat, I think it's going to be a bright one. I think uh, that everybody's in, in, impressed with his knowledge of the game and, you know, his ability to share the basketball and, and people really, there's a lot of, there's a lot to like about Nico's game. So I think that, you know, you hope that he just has a healthy recovery. And obviously for the Heat's young bigs, it's been a, a tough year because you've already had the, the thing with Omer Yurtsevin, which has kept him out. And now you have this with uh, with Jovic. So, and we've been dealing with Deadman as well. And so thank goodness for Orlando Robinson showing something because the Heat are, <laughs> we already knew they were going to this year small. But now you talk about, you know, th their three backup bigs essentially are all really banged up and you're left with, Haywood Highsmith and um, just kind of Finn Orlando Robinson has done a nice job since he's been in there, but certainly uh, certainly limits the options even more for Miami. So just a speedy recovery for you, but you hope that, that, that he, uh, he gets through that. Okay. On the other end of things, um, wanted to uh, bring this up. So this was interesting. Jimmy Butler was uh, speaking with the media before the heat took on the Clippers, which I've, this is an interesting thing because, you know, Jimmy, doesn't talk a lot of shoot arounds, especially, you know, gay day of shoot arounds and doesn't, you know, I don't feel like touches on his health a whole lot. He's one of those guys where it's kind of like, you know, what does anybody really care? So found it interesting that he was commenting on, uh, on where he's at right now. Cause the heat did get some news on his health. He was cleared for back to backs, which is great news. He has not been playing in back to backs. They've been keeping him out and the heat, uh, you know, through their history with Jimmy, have been pretty cautious with him when it comes to banged up injuries, knickknack injuries, trying to really make sure he's full go, ready to go, because they know this guy plays really hard. It's kind of been a thing with him his whole career. You know, Jimmy Butler will miss his 15 to 20 games to 20 plus games a year because of, you know, this, that, and the other because he plays so physical. And. But it was interesting reading some of the stuff that he had to say. And he had told reporters, getting this from uh, Anthony Chang's column, where he says, quote, I still got some work to do. It's not where it needs to be, but I got uh, Armando Rivas, who's a Heat ath athletic trainer, to make sure that I'm good 
we got to maintain this thing, take care of it. It's part of the game, but I want to be right. I want to be 100% so I can go out there and do what I'm supposed to do. All right. N- nothing too d- daunting there. It, it is It is what it is. He's dealing with something. Uh, but this was definitely the, the one that raised the eyebrow where he said, quote, I can't say that I'm fully healthy, but there are a lot of people that are not. So I think that it's good on a lot of levels. The more rest that I have and the uh, and I, the more rest that I have and able to get that recovery that I need is always going to be better. So hell, whenever I'm not playing, I'm doing something to try and get right. And that just was like, first of all, it's very revealing from Jimmy that, you know, he, did, he doesn't feel fully healthy. And second of all, it was a little bit, you know, like, all right, so is this going to be something that he's going to be dealing with all year? You know, this is... You know what? What is going on there with the knee? That that is is it going to be something that's chronic bothering him throughout the year? Um, you know, should the Heat go in the direction of giving him some more time off? Because look, obviously, all of their playoff hopes do rest on the shoulders of like how healthy is that dude going to be? Because we just know that, and you know, this watching Jimmy Butler in his career with the Heat, the guy you get in the regular season is not the same guy that you get in the playoffs. The guy you get in the playoffs is far and away one of the best players in the league. One of the guys that you, you go into a fight in a, in a postseason series and you have Jim VP on your side. You got one of the best guys out there. Do or die games on the line. You know, that guy's going to go balls to the wall, give you everything that he's got. He's going to take it to E and you know, a lot of the times, you know, is going to give you everything he's got to make that series competitive. I mean, we have seen this now. This is his fourth season with Miami. He had one run to the finals. Incredible, especially what he did in the finals. And then, of course, last year what he did in the Eastern Conference Finals to get that seven games. You know, we all know the pain there. But Jimmy Butler, the reason that you deal with all of this stuff and the reason that the Heat fan has gotten – um, you know, I, I think for most part, the Heat fans are okay with it. Is Jimmy, you know, when the chips are on down on the table, the guy shows up. He does. He, he did it with the Sixers. You know, everywhere that he's gone, that team, uh, that team gets better, and every team that he leaves, they get worse. And so, I it is going to be, but it is an interesting thing. You know, you look at a guy right now who is you know, tremendous, but he's 33 years old, just turned 33 before the season. And, you know, you got him locked up for some more years and the heat gave him the extension, which he deserved. I mean, you're seeing all around the league, you're going to have to, you, you, you invest in your guys and Jimmy Butler has come to the heat. And I feel like he is delivered in every which way, you know, they haven't gotten that championship, but man, he was the star player that he'd have been looking for. He has made them absolutely competitive. He has actually absolutely made them contender level worthy. And, you know, that's why you go out there and and you give him that monster contract uh, extension and, you know, why the Heat would be paying him 50 million plus when he's 36 years old. Um, So, you know, it it was, but it definitely was like one of those things like, whoa, okay. So are, uh, is Miami going to be dealing with this? Is he going to be, it sounds like he's going to be dealing with this all regular season. I don't know how much Miami will pull the trigger on let's play him in back-to-backs if they can get away with it in certain games. When Jimmy's saying that, it sounds like, hey, if we can get by certain games without me, maybe we should try and do that. And it's not something that he would have done in the past. This was a common thing with D-Wade in 2014. Um, that was one thing that definitely frustrated uh, LeBron on, on some levels in that final season of not knowing D-Wade's availability. But it's a little different in this one around because, you know, This is Jimmy's team. This is the Jimmy. Jimmy is the star. And I think the bright spot about it is you're seeing he's seeing his co-stars in in Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo, who had a little bit of this run in them last year, certainly when he was out. But I think he has taken it even to a a more dominant degree, especially over the last month, is that they're capable of carrying this team to victories and and being the guys and and finding ways to win and, and dogging these down. And you know, you saw in yesterday's game against the Clippers. I mean, they really they didn't get a good game from Jimmy. They, they didn't get, I would say, they didn't even get a B level game from Jimmy. And Bam 
Tyler, Vic, that was enough. That carried him. And if that can happen in a regular season, especially in games where you look at the you look across and you see the teams are facing, you know, one of the things that's been frustrating with this season is that every game is a dog fight. Every game is super close. It would be nice if there were games where the he could just rest Jimmy in the fourth quarter. What was the game it was? What was the last game I was at? Oh, it was the Lakers game. It was the Lakers game. It was uh they were taking on the Lakers and they were kind of cruising. And you get to this point where you have a big lead at the at the end of the third quarter and you think like, "Oh, great. Bam, Jimmy, they should be able to sit and Bam had to end up like playing the whole second half." Which is not ideal. You know, the Heat has already had trouble surviving with Bam off the court as it is. Um, so it would be nice if the Heat could get to a point where they could start putting these games away where, you know, last night was crazy. Like, we all knew it was coming because that's just what it's been. Even Eric Spolstra knows that's his team right now. They're they're prone to give up big leads, monster leads. But watching, uh, you know, if they can start putting some of these games away, I think that would make life a lot easier. And knowing that, all right, we feel com- comfortable that we're up 18 points, 17 points, 15 points going into the fourth quarter. I know it's today's NBA three point shot can, you know, turn it like that, but it's, you know, we, we, everybody who's watching these, the, these, the snowballing of losing leads, it's very, it's crazy how many close games Miami's been in. They've been in like three, three games they've handled like the, by double digits. It doesn't happen very often for them. Um, so, you know, an interesting thing to see with uh, with 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 Jimmy and uh, and his health that you know this this could be something that they're dealing with. I'm a little. It wasn't. I would say I'm not panicked about it. I wouldn't even say I'm worried about it. But it was one of those things. I was just like, okay, like it was. It was. I don't even. I feel like even saying it's unsettling is strong. But when I read the, I was like. It definitely made me pause, and I was like, "All right." So we'll see with Jimmy. Um, you know, look, they got a good opportunity ahead of them with this with this road trip, and then uh, Sunday should be a really really fun matchup. But you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna act, I'm not gonna act like I didn't it didn't feel nothing when I read those quotes from him. 